And now, your Storm Shield forecast from NBC 26. Uh, thanks a lot for being with us this evening. That wasn't too bad of a day. 72 degrees right now. Pretty comfortable, but the dew point is starting to sneak up there a little bit. See, it's 63. Winds out of the northeast, so there's quite a little lake breeze going on right now. So definitely cooler by the lake, but even that at this time of year isn't that bad. Now, we've got high pressure in charge for the time being. Fantastic, but it's slowly moving on out of here. And you see what's out to the west? Unsettled weather. It will get here, but it looks like we're going to sneak out most of tomorrow. And tonight, if you have any plans, we're going to be just fine. It's trying to show a little stray sprinkle out there. That's not happening. And as far as going through the overnight, also showing a little bit of patchy fog possible for some of us. Just be aware, maybe when you wake up this morning as well, or tomorrow morning, I should say. Now, so far today, 77 Green Bay, Minneapolis, looking around us, you see it's way warmer to the south. Now, that warm front isn't going to make it far enough to the north where we get really warm, but still, we're going to bring in more and more humidity over the next couple of days. Currently, this isn't too bad. Again, remember, we got uh, quite a little lake breeze going on. So it's 71 Sturgeon Bay, 70 Manitowoc. The farther you are to the west, the warmer it is. Well, pack is 78. Oshkosh, you're 75. Either way you cut it, it's not a bad evening going on. With dew points, again, they're up there just a little bit. 63 in Green Bay. But you see them slowly starting to pick up, even straight out to the west into the middle 60s. That is heading our way with the next low pressure system. Let's kind of take a look at what's going on in the atmosphere. Again, high pressure in charge for us, keeping us quiet for the time being. And it, I think it's going to hold out for most of Wednesday during the day. But eventually, that low pressure going to win the battle, kick the high out of here. and We're going to start to watch rain move in, especially tomorrow night. Here's a look at Skycast at what I'm talking about going through the overnight here. Going to be fine around the whole state. Looking just fine. High pressure still in charge. Again, that patchy fog possible, but then slowly the high starts to break on down. It moves out of here and you see mainly off to the west and south chances of showers as we had through the day. But most of us OK for most of your Wednesday until we go into Wednesday night. Watch things start to change. Here come some showers and thunderstorms going late night, going into Thursday morning and then on the back side of the low, still more showers and thunderstorms firing up. So getting unsettled, but not tonight. 58 mostly clear, some patchy fog. Not a bad night if you want to crack open the windows. No rain tonight. For tomorrow, 78 degrees, increasing clouds, little humidity starting to go up there. I could see a stray shower or thunderstorm, mainly to the west and south. I think most of us are going to have an okay day. Now, here's a look at the extended forecast. This is going to be most of the rain falling on Wednesday night, mainly later on. And Thursday, a couple more showers and thunderstorms. It's going to be humid, feeling like summer, even though it's going to be 78. Break for Friday and then. Megan, we talked about it yesterday, that chance of storms on uh, Friday <laughs> it's night. There. It's still there for Friday <laughs> night and Saturday. So be aware this weekend may not be perfect. The better day Sunday, but right now it's not going to be a wash. It's a little okay with a, a shower at night or something where you can spend the day outside. That's yeah, and at this time of year, it usually doesn't rain all day, but still the chance is going to be there on Saturday. All right. Thanks. Fish. Yep.